Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Combo Versus. Today we'll be seeing if Regalia Genesis Will Extreme Dash is a competitive combo or not. So this is another combo from the comments. What we'll do is we'll go right to the Wayne and then move on to the battles. So let's get started. All right, so let's see what Regalia weighs. So 2625. That's pretty good. See how much this will weighs. 30.04, that's decent. Now, extreme dash, 5.49. So let's throw the entire combo together. And this is interesting because Regalia does have the infinite lock mechanism. So 61.82. So that is a pretty light combo. However, the shape of this, it should be pretty good at attacking, especially on that extreme dash. And you can see it kind of has this oval shape. So yeah, let's get right to the battles. All right, so we have Tempest Solomon with the Metal Chip Core 1S Will and Extend Plus. We'll launch this first three to five times, then we'll switch over to our Regalia Genesis Will Extreme Dash Combo and launch this one first three to five times. And I do like how these color patterns are very similar. So before we get started, I'm not really a fan of rubber drivers. They are really good for attack, but you do have to launch them the correct way to get a really good hit with them. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and launch Tempest first. All right, so that is a KO for Regalia. So we'll go ahead and launch Tempest first again. And it does take some time to launch this as it does have that kind of uh, infinite lock mechanism. So you have to make sure that the wheel is aligned right for the launcher. So we'll go ahead and launch Tempest first again. So yeah, it does get some pretty good hits. However, if it doesn't KO Tempest, I do believe Tempest will win. Yeah, Tempest is going to win this one. So that is a win for Tempest. We'll launch it first again. However, this does have some really good hits. So let's go ahead and launch Tempest. And I am kind of waiting for Tempest to get out the way before I launch this. So that is a win for Regalia. So we'll switch over and launch this one first three to five times. So let's just make sure this is lined up correctly on the launcher. All right, so Regalia. So we got a good hit. However, I do think Tempest is going to win this one. That is a win for Tempest. So we'll launch Regalia first, first again. So I got tongue twisted there. Well, that was a really good hit. So yeah, it does have some really good hits, but it does have to get the KO early in order to beat Tempest or Tempest will just have way too much stamina. So let's launch this first one more time before we switch combos. All right, so that is a self KO. Let's try that again. And 
again, I'm not really the best with these rubber drivers. So this will be a win for Tempest. That regalia just doesn't have enough speed behind it. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the next combo. So we have Brave Valkyrie with two-way and three-bladed mode and extend plus. We'll launch this first three to five times. Then we'll switch over and launch this combo first three to five times. So let's go ahead. So Brave. So that was a really good hit by this combo. So let's put Brave back together and launch it first again. All right, so Brave. So that wasn't the best launch on my part using this Extreme Dash driver. So I think Brave should win this. It is on Extend Plus and yeah. So that is a win for Brave. So let's launch this first one more time. So let's see if it can get a hit on it. There we go. Yeah, it's not going to win. It doesn't weigh enough. Yeah, it has to get a hit fairly quick so that it can use its speed to KO. So we'll go ahead and launch this one first three to five times. So this will probably be another win for Brave, as I did launch it a little bit late. So I know some people in the comments have mentioned to use two of these, as you can get a connector that combines two launchers into one and you can sort of pull them both together. However, I'm not really a fan of that as it doesn't really allow for you to do the correct launching AKA either a sliding or a tilted slash banking shot. So I do like to launch them one at a time. However, with this combo here and it being on extreme dash, it will run out of stamina fairly quick as this is rubber. So there is a lot of friction with the stadium floor. So let's just go ahead and try that again. All right, let's relaunch. Let's move the stadium. And I'm not sure what's going on, but it seems like my launcher is skipping. Let's try this again. There we go, I didn't skip that time. So let's see what happens. All right, so that is another win for Regalia. So let's go ahead and switch over to the next combos. So next we have World Spriggan with 2B and the Awakened Drift. We'll launch this first three to five times. Then we'll switch over to the Regalia combo and launch it first three to five times. So let's get these set up on the launchers. And as usual, we will light launch this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so it's not going to push that world out of the center, so world will win. So that is one win for world. Let's launch again.
That is another win for World. So Regalia kind of just set over there on that extreme dash on the edge. So we will launch World first one more time. And in a tournament setting, if you aim this combo, I think you can do pretty good with it. So yeah, this will be another win for World. I'm not sure why right now, but it cannot seem to get a good hit on the World combo. And it might have something to do with the free spinning ring right here. It's semi-woke and it will like free spin a lot sometimes, but I think that may have something to do with it. So let's go ahead and launch Regalia first. All right, so Regalia. All right, there you go, a win for this. And it was coming in as I was launching, so that was a pretty good hit. So let's launch this first again. Let's adjust the stadium. So we'll launch the regalia first again. That was interesting. So it got a really good hit on the world combo and then it went to the center and as you can see, stayed in the center. Now, this extreme dash isn't really flat. You can see it is losing some of the rubber from making contact with the stadium floor, but that was pretty good for just staying in the center. So we'll launch this first one more time. Now, Extreme Dash, you don't really want to sit in the center. It is rubber, so it is designed to attack. All right, so Regalia again. And I did launch light that time with World, so you can see the past two times I did a medium launch to just to try to get a hard hit. So that is a win for World. We'll go ahead and move to the next combos. So we have Rage Diabolus with 3A and the Awoken Destroy Dash. We'll launch this first three to five times. Then we'll switch over to our Regalio combo and launch it first three to five times. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll put them both on the launcher just so we can have a bit faster launching. So Rage. That was a really good hit. I do believe Rage was KO'd here first. So let's relaunch. So again, we'll get them both on the launchers first. So really good hit, but it KO'd itself. So we'll go ahead and launch Rage first one more time. So, Rage. So that was a bad launch on my part. So let's do this one again. Right, so Rage won that one again. And it did make contact, but I really think it kind of just self-KO'd itself. 
So we'll go ahead and launch Regalia first. And I'm not going to edit out all of the horrible launches with this Extreme Dash, as I know I'm not really good with rubber drivers, so I don't want to pretend that I'm super great with them. So a lot of times when I launch these, they will kind of hop back, so they'll land, they'll land here, and they'll kind of spin out, they'll come out, and they'll hop out of the pockets. So that is something I need to work on. So yeah, let's go ahead and launch this one first. And if you have any tips for how to launch, say, Extreme Dash so that it won't land here and hop out of the pocket, please let me know in the comments. So we'll go ahead and launch Regalia. So that was a good hit. Yeah, Regalia is getting some good hits. And yeah, that's super interesting. It just goes right to the center. Now I know Awoken Evolution Dash will do that. So yeah, that's interesting. So Regalia win that one. We'll launch this first again. So Regalia. And yeah, that's what I mean. A lot of times when I launch, that happens with this extreme. So it doesn't really happen with evolution. And I know it is harder rubber, but with this extreme or drivers like this with the soft rubber, that happens a lot when I launch them. Which is why in tournaments, I don't use say Rage 3A Extreme Dash, just cause I know that me myself, I'm not that great at launching them. So, Regalia again. And now I know it's not my launcher that is messing up. It's that this, the wheel isn't in the right position when I'm putting it on the launcher. So if you can see inside of it, this will spin infinitely, or it can. So it doesn't stop, it just keeps going. So you really have to have the wheel lined up perfectly when you put it on the launcher. So let's go ahead and try that again. So some good hits there. Really good hit. So that is a win for Regalia. We'll go ahead and switch over to the next combo. So we have Hollow Lucifer 2 with 4A in balance mode, Will and Ultimate Reboot Dash. This is the combo from the comments. And as I always say, I really like this combo. It is a really good combo. So we will launch this first three to five times. Then we'll switch over to our Regalia combo and launch it first three to five times. So let's get started. Really good hit to start with. Now let's see. So if it comes down to a stamina battle, Ultimate Reboot definitely has more stamina than that Extreme Dash as you just saw. So more of Ultimate Reboot touches the ground and by its shape, it has a little bit of lag. So we'll launch this one first again. Good hit. Let's see if the hollow combo has enough stamina to take this one. And yeah, extreme is just going to spin around it. So yeah, another win for hollow. Really good combo again. So we will launch this one first again, one more time. Yeah, so when it hits, it does hit. So again, I believe Hollow is going to win this one. Yep, so let's switch over and launch Regalia first three to five times, and I'll try not to self-KO. 
So let's fix the stadium, All right? So regalia. And it's going to lose this one because I took a bit too long to launch the hollow. So let's try regalia first again. That was a really good hit. If it was at a different angle, then hollow would have been KO'd. So let's launch regalia first again. So self KO and now I know that the launcher wasn't skipping. It was just the infinite lock in here. And it happened again. So let's try it one more time. There we go. Really good hits. All right, so that is a win for Hollow. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this combo up and come back with my All right, so is Regalia Genesis Will Extreme Dash a competitive combo or not? So I'm going to say for me personally, it is not as I am really bad at launching rubber drivers like Extreme Dash. So with Evolution Dash, I'm really good at launching that, but for some reason this Extreme Dash is extremely hard to launch. As I've said, it just bounces here and bounces out, or to bounce here and bounce that way. So for me, it's not a combo I would use. Again, it's why I don't use, say, Rage. 3A with Extreme Dash, which is a really good combo. Now, if you're good at launching Extreme Dash, then honestly, I think this is a pretty competitive combo. As the way it's shaped, it's really good at hitting. And if you angle it right and you aim at your opponent, you can get a KO. Like this Extreme is extremely fast. So, I'd say for me, it's not a competitive combo, but if you are experienced with using Extreme Dash, I think this could be a competitive combo. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and all of that other good stuff. Thanks.